Microsoft Whiteboard is an infinite digital canvas and it has many applications in work or in classrooms. Understanding the basic features of the toolbar will help you and others complete tasks more efficiently. Let's take a look at the toolbar more closely on the desktop version of Microsoft Whiteboard. But please note that if you are accessing Microsoft Whiteboard via the web browser version or through Microsoft Teams, they also have similar toolbar features. From the Microsoft Whiteboard homepage, you need to select an existing whiteboard or create a new whiteboard. The toolbar contains a default selection of pen tools. To access more options for each pen, for example the thickness of inking or change the colour of the ink, select a pen using your mouse or stylus. You can now use this pen to write or draw on the screen. By using different coloured pens, it has allowed my notes to be more organised but also accessible to students. For example, if I know a student in my class is colourblind, I can use colours which will help avoid confusing the student by just choosing another colour from the range available. Highlighters are excellent at allowing students to focus on important areas on the whiteboard, for example text or pictures. I found them particularly useful for providing online lessons or making pre-recorded lessons. By clicking on the highlighter tool, it will display different colour options and the thickness for the inking. If you are using a touch device and have a stylus such as a surface pen, then you may be able to use the rubber end of the stylus to remove ink. Microsoft Whiteboard also has a ruler which you can use to draw straight lines or measure angles with. However, I've only found this to be useful when using a touch screen device as you can move the ruler to the desired position more easily by using two fingers like this. You can now use a coloured pen to draw the ruler lines. The lasso select tool is a great way to select a group of objects such as images and inking and group them together as one element. You can then move this group to different locations on the whiteboard or resize them. First you need to select the lasso select tool. Now using your stylus you can draw around the text or the image that you want selected. You can now use the mouse to move the text or the images to the desired location. If you make a mistake, you can easily remove this by clicking on the undo icon. This will remove each new stroke with the pen or element you have added to your whiteboard in the order they occurred in. If by mistake you remove too many strokes or elements, click on the redo icon until you are happy. Again, this will make each element appear in the order they were originally placed on the whiteboard. Click on one of these to enhance your teaching and learning further and don't forget to subscribe to the Teach Me channel so you know when more useful videos are released.